Welcome to GRE. I'm your host, Keith Weinhold. It's the first of our two-episode Future of Real Estate series. Today, a construction technology that can substantially speed up home and apartment building and the number of problems that it can solve today on Get Rich Education. The EQRP system now allows you to shield up to $700,000 of income from taxes every year. My friend Damian Lupo informed me that checkbook IRAs have been made illegal by the U.S. tax court. So if you have a checkbook IRA, your holdings are now disqualified with taxes and penalties up to 50%. But don't panic. Damian and the EQRP team can fix this. This way you can invest your 401k or IRA in real estate, gold, Bitcoin, and even your own business. So whether you're a full-time investor, retired, or even a dentist with dozens of employees, if you're listening, you qualify, the EQRP works. It's a solution. You'll control your retirement money, kill UBIT, and pay way less taxes. I encourage you, learn more about this strategy and free up your retirement money. Get the newest EQRP special report. Text GRE to 307-213-3475. Text GRE to 307-213-3475. Mid-South home buyers with over two decades as the nation's highest rated turnkey provider, their empathetic property managers use your return on investment as their North Star. It's no wonder smart investors line up to get their completely renovated income properties like it's the newest iPhone. Headquartered in Memphis with their globally attractive cash flows, Mid-South has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and 4,000 houses renovated. There is zero markup on maintenance, let that sink in, and they average a 98.9% occupancy rate with an industry-leading three-and-a-half-year average renter term. Every home they offer you will have brand new components, a bumper-to-bumper one-year warranty, new 30-year roofs, and wait for it, a high-quality renter. In an astounding price range, 100 to 150K. Get to know MidSouth. Enjoy cash flow from day one at MidSouthHomeBuyers.com. That's MidSouthHomeBuyers.com. You're listening to the show that has created more financial freedom than nearly any show in the world. This is Get Rich Education. Welcome to GRE from Pretoria, South Africa to Astoria, Oregon and across 188 nations worldwide. I'm your host, Keith Weinhold. This is Get Rich Education. It's been a few years since we had our last Future of Real Estate series. And in the past, you might recall how we have discussed 3D printed homes in depth and why it isn't quite the answer yet that some thought it could have been. And in that series, we also discussed shipping container homes with an expert, like what people might think of as a Connex or even a trailer, and turning that into a livable home. But by the time that you add in your penetrations and you completely outfit it for livability, well, that's not that cost effective either. And therefore, shipping container homes lose some of their advantages. Now, something like modular homes, they're not so futuristic, and they have their own limits as well. And the definition of a modular home is one where 80 to 90% of the home is built inside a factory rather than out on site. In last week's newsletter, hopefully you read my Don't Quit Your Daydream letter, we added a story about how robot landlords are taking over in income property, a rather futuristic angle there. But today we are not focused on any of that. Here in the Future of Real Estate series, part one of two, It's why don't we just take the conventional construction process that already exists and make a substantial improvement to it rather than trying to go and reinvent so much. So that is potentially the better question that we're answering here today. You know, I've also had substantial discussions with you in the recent past about this chronic shortage of housing that America has had for perhaps 10 years now and how that is not going away anytime soon, and that what's cropped up in the past few years has actually exacerbated this housing shortage, both a shortage of supplies 
and a shortage of labor for new home construction. So really, all I've been doing there is informing you and reporting on what's happening. But on today's show, I'm actually trying to help do something about these problems rather than just report about problems like the housing shortage and the labor shortage. I can report about it or people can complain about it or I can actually help do something about it. So that's also what we're doing today. Then next week's show is a show I think you're really going to like because though this week's show deals with the future of real estate in the real tangible world, next week's show is centered on metaverse real estate. Yes, next week here on episode two of two of our future real estate series, it's real estate in the digital world. There are even metaverse real estate agents that get a commission if you buy or sell a property through them in the metaverse. Yes, that actually exists. That ought to be a fascinating show here next week. Be sure you're subscribed to the podcast here in order to see that you do get our metaverse real estate show next week. Well, before you and I get on with the future of real estate in the real world today, hey, join me live this week virtually for our Florida Properties webinar. It's in just three days on Thursday the 8th at 2 p.m. Eastern, and it is completely free. Register now at grewebinars.com. I think we all know the Florida real estate market is hot. Supply can't keep pace with demand. Build to rent investment properties are the solution. And this is a buying opportunity for you with those if you find that you are so interested. And build to rent investment properties, they come with a lot of benefits. Lower insurance premiums, no deferred maintenance for these brand new properties, and really attractive modern layouts. So we're talking about new build properties in Florida's Path of Progress on this week's upcoming webinar. And oftentimes you're buying in a position where you have built in equity with these homes. And since these new build homes that we're talking about on Thursday's webinar are built with tenants in mind from day one, they're made to resist tenant wear and tear and help increase your ROI over the long term. Florida properties designed to build financial freedom for you. And some of the construction of these durable cash flowing assets in Florida are not just granite kitchen countertops, but also granite vanity tops and stainless steel appliances and durable vinyl plank flooring and modern and spacious floor plans that you would come to expect in today's brand new builds. And remember, you'll not only own a single family home or duplex or fourplex, what you really own is sort of a financial freedom business. And the income property provider on this Thursday's webinar is vertically integrated. And I know that can sound like a confusing term to some people, but all that vertically integrated means is that they have a construction department and a management department within the same family of businesses. And the property management fee is only 8% on these as well if you choose to have the property manager manage this brand new income property for you. And most new investors are actually pretty surprised how quickly they're able to obtain their second rental home after overcoming the hurdle and all the learning that goes into acquiring your first investment property. So getting economies of scale and achieving a strong ROI for you, it means looking for a provider to do business with repeatedly, adding more units under one property management umbrella. It's more efficient for you that way. And this Florida provider, they do business almost statewide They're really ready to help you grow your portfolio long-term, support you on your investor journey toward financial freedom. So from breaking ground on new construction all the way to collecting passive income direct deposited into your bank account every month. And on the webinar, attendees are going to have the chance to ask questions directly to me and directly to the property provider. And signing up also gives you access to the replay of the video in case you're busy when GRE goes live this Thursday. So again, that's our Florida Properties webinar. It is free. It's in just three days on Thursday the 8th at 2 o'clock Eastern. Sign up now at grewebinars.com. Today, we're talking about a technology that answers problems in the home and apartment framing industry and all the problems that this can solve in one fell swoop, solving 
supply chain problems, labor shortage problems, housing shortage problems, manufacturing waste problems, ESG concerns with solar power here, and all of the companion tax benefits that Congress has granted for providing a product in this way too. In fact, they have been billed as the most efficient truss and framing plant in America, and their mission is to be the only manufacturer and provider of trusses and wall panels who builds and erects the framework of a building. And, you know, fewer people want to do this kind of work. Fewer people want to be laborers and do that stick work, that framing work out on a construction site. So if you're not familiar with home building at all, we're talking about creating the shell of a structure efficiently. Our first of two guests today is someone that you are already familiar with because he's been on the show many times. He is a longtime financial pro that champions Main Street over Wall Street. He's got a lot of real estate experience and he runs the EQRP company. Welcome back to GRE, Damien Lupo. Keith, so good to be here. So excited about our conversation today. Today, Damien is joined by our second guest. He describes himself as a man of faith, husband, and father. He's a longtime financial industry pro, and actually, he is the national director of the EQRP company alongside Damien, and he's the CEO of Vitruvian Ventures. Welcome to the show, David Morris. Thank you, Keith. I'm really, really excited to be here. A few weeks ago, David, I was having a chat with Damien. He happened to mention to me that he is developing what he calls the most efficient truss and framing plant in America, where one can go from blueprints to framed on site within 14 days, building a manufacturing plant in central Arizona. And I come to find out, wow, there are other parts of the nation that want this technology too, because it solves a lot of problems. So maybe you can talk to us about the problems that this solves first. When you look at the real estate market today, there has been a building, whether that be apartments or homes, and the supply chain has been very broken since COVID in 2020. And that problem has been exacerbated by the amount of money that's also coming to the system. So you have a broken supply chain followed by an influx of demand, and it makes that supply chain problem that much worse. When you're looking at housing, two of the things that really hurt the production capabilities for home building is uh, number one, trusses, the roof truss system for houses and apartments that are manufactured in a manufacturing plant and sent out to the site. And then traditionally, we've had stick framed houses and apartments where you have framing crews out there putting together the structures on the site. And the problem is today, people really don't want to be framers anymore. It's a dying industry. There's really not a lot of opportunities out there to fix this problem. So people are scrounging around trying to find more framers, but that's not going to fix the problem. The problem is the, the lack of people. And so now we're trying to answer that question. It's a lack of people that's helped create this chronic housing shortage that we have that many economists and industry pros don't think we're going to get out of for years, perhaps more than a decade. That's right. So there's, it's time for technology to come in, right? Because technology is pretty much infiltrated every industry out there. If you think about it, manufacturing, et cetera, really outside of a skill saw and a nail gun, there really hasn't been much innovation in the framing process ever. And so with bringing in automation and a manufacturing facility, coupled with very adept framing crew, you can really circumvent all of the issues that you're having there. You have lumber supply issues, you have labor supply issues, and then you have the trusses, which we're going to supply those as well. So it's really answering three major problems in the construction industry today. And conventionally built homes are just itching for innovation. Like you talked about the skill saw and the nail gun maybe being the only significant innovations in that industry for decades. That's right. We've had, there's other things out there like modular housing, where the problem with modular is just not very flexible. I think it will have something to do with the future of housing but it's not where it needs to be yet to satisfy all the needs out there. With modular, they're looking at four, maybe five different home models in their plant and that's it. They can't retool that to create other homes. And so with when you're just doing the framing side with the automation in the plant, you're able to be very flexible. And flexibility is really important when you're building houses because not everybody wants to have the same house. 
Another thing that's really important to look at is as the markets change and you go from houses to apartments being in favor and, and ones expanding, the manufacturing of modular housing is great until everybody's trying to find apartments because nobody can afford to buy houses. And right now with, with interest rates moving, it looks like we're going to naturally have a support system from the federal government and these institutions to support apartments. Well, so then you, you're back to framing. It's those modular type of developments don't really work for apartments. And so that's where this type of technology, the dynamic nature of the plant, of a manufacturing system that we've developed is so important because it can say, okay, cool, let's literally switch on a dime. Today we're doing houses. Tomorrow we have plans for an apartment and we build the trusses, the floors, the walls, all of that. And then that's all being site built in a matter of weeks versus months. So it's very important to be able to pivot in this environment because these forces of changes are so painful if you're static and you're sticky with your one thing, where all of a sudden you're out of business. Whereas with us and this model, what David and I have, have worked on with our team is to make sure that this thing thrives in any economic environment. Because what we do know is there's what, a million and a half to five million, depending on the source right. of missing units in America. So those units are going to be houses or apartments, but they're going to be something and they're going to require walls, floors, and, and roofs. And that's what this solves. That's right. This is a need and Americans cannot sit out the housing market. Everyone needs to live somewhere, whether they own or rent or live under a bridge or live with their parents. They all need some place to live. And part of the problem that you're helping solve is you're building that framing package. So in conventional construction, we know that those triangular shaped roof trusses are already pre put together. However, with your framing package, you have the roof truss, the floor truss, and the walls already formed. So can you tell us more about that? Yeah, really. It's a fully automated manufacturing plant that produces all of these things. So there's three different individual plants within the whole main plant. There's a roof truss plant, a wall plant, and a floor plant. And basically what happens, and one of the things that's really important about what we're doing is in framing of any kind with wood, there is a tremendous amount of waste. You lose on average 10 to 15% of the wood that you purchase. And as we all know, wood is bought by the board foot. So every foot of boards you lose, you lose dollars. And so part of the manufacturing process is a finger joining machine. So we actually join good wood end to end. We don't have any loss in the process. The only drop in the whole process is where they do a miter cut. So you have a, an angled joint where you have to cut the wood at an angle. That's the only wood that's lost. And what that does is it does several things. Number one, we don't have the, the drop. So we save money there. But number two... With lumber supply issues, we get a lot of questions about that because lumber supply has been a problem in certain areas and we don't care what size the wood is. As long as it's the right width and, and length or it's the right size, two by four, two by six, we don't care if it's eight foot or 20 foot. It doesn't matter. As long as it's the right grade, we can purchase it. So what that does is it gives us the ability to go in and buy lumber at a less expensive price because we can have whatever they have a surplus of. Or if they are low on wood, we can buy whatever they have. We don't care what size it is. And so it gives us the advantage of price of purchasing. And also we don't have the waste. So it really saves in between 18 and 25% just in the materials. Reducing waste, really important for today's ESG concerns. Totally. It's one of the things, I mean, there's, when you look at something, that, the innovation, which is what it's so exciting to be able to, to take some, an industry, I mean, there's construction and then there's education. They're the two most sticky, archaic, I mean, and get rich education is all about new ideas and innovation and thinking around money and investing. And this is our counterpunch to a very stalled out industry where we say, okay, we are going to bring in the innovation in automation and efficiency. And we're also going to do better for the environment, for the community with a couple hundred jobs in this space. These are great jobs in an environment. I mean, David can get into this. I mean, we're literally going to be a zero consumer of power because we're using solar technology. And, and so these really work with this philosophy of don't just do something that's profitable, do something that works for all the stakeholders. It's more of the John Mackey philosophy around conscious capitalism. And what's crazy, what people don't realize is that when you're really thoughtful about it, it actually ends up being even more profitable for everybody. And it, it's not like you're taking one thing, you're going to be environmentally sensitive and you have to lose money. It's actually the opposite because everything is working together. We're like in this flow with the environment, with the whole environment, not just the sun, the, the trees, like the people, the politics, everybody is on the side of this winning 
and this being because it, it's a winner for everybody. And that's the best part. It's not a win lose, which you see a lot out there in investing. And unfortunately, it's like, okay, if I win, you lose here, everybody wins. And that's, we love being part of the building solution. Well, that's reflected because I know the community there in central Arizona, they have been really supportive of what you're doing there because they see all the problems that it solves. Absolutely. It's really been eye-opening the amount of support we've gotten from the city, Camp Verde in Arizona, where this plant's going to be just the whole time. Normally, you have all these hurdles to jump over when it comes to getting permits for buildings, et cetera, having sewer lines brought to the plant. All of these things that are part of a construction process have been an absolute breeze. And because of it, I mean, the plant construction is actually about six weeks ahead of schedule. Yeah. And what construction project have you heard of being in, ahead of schedule in the last Zero. two years? <laughs> right. <laughs> it rarely happens. <laughs> it never happens. And it just shows that the community is in huge support, huge support. You know, we're going to have an education facility at the local community college to train people how to be employees of the plant, which will help educate the area, also help provide employees for the plant itself. I mean, it really just adds a lot of value back to the city. It's providing jobs, providing tax revenue, et cetera. So now to get a picture of this in our mind's eye and all these efficiencies that you have by making roof trusses, floor trusses, and walls ahead of time in a manufacturing plant, how is it delivered to the job site? How many pieces are there? Well, how many pieces really depends on the size of the house, of course, and the design, but they'll be delivered out on a truck and our framing crew will go out there. And what's great about this too, when it comes to the labor side, framing in itself, the traditional way is a backbreaking job. It really is. They're built over all day long. They're running a skill saw. They're running a, a nail gun. Well, in this case, we're going to be using a crane to crane each panel into place and then simply nail it into place. And so it's not near as difficult of a job on the body for the framers that are going to be there assembling the houses and apartments together. And so not only does that produce longevity for the employees, it creates a better work environment for them as well. And it's much, much faster to assemble the home because it's already in panels and they're being put in place by cranes. That's part of the reason why it's such a fast process. I mentioned the 14 days from production to installation. What's the normal timeline? You're probably looking at several months all in all from the time that you get the design to the time the house is framed. And a lot of what's happening in uh, throughout all of America, you've got developers where they have houses that are sold, they're trying to build them and they're stuck waiting for trusses. So they can't really build anything out because of the weather elements that prevent them from, once you get a truss, you can put your roof on, you can contain the house and build it out, but they're literally stuck because of this bottleneck. And so not only do we solve the bottleneck problem efficiently and we can time things. So it's, you'll have builders that are sitting there waiting for potentially months because they're in line. And so there's a massive gap in the market for the trusses. And so we come in and have the ability to do all the framing and say, it's going to be delivered on this day because we have a super tight system that allows us to define exactly date of delivery. That doesn't really exist out in the market. I mean, you, it's very common for people to say, yeah, I'm, I'm literally waiting four or five or six or eight months for the trust, which stalls the entire project. And all that time ends up being a cost problem because you end up delaying things. That's all just dollars. So everything is a lot more expensive. It's frustrating and it's really hard to plan and be efficient. So it's putting a lot of stress on all the systems. And what we do is we take a lot of that pressure, a vast majority of it away. So people have predictability in this space. Absolutely. I mean, I've heard of of slabs for foundations sitting for over a year. Gosh. And a lot of these things, I mean, we have clients of ours that are investing in these homes in certain areas of the country where they've invested in a rental home. They've literally had a foundation sitting there for a year. So their money's invested. They're getting zero return. They're waiting on trusses. Yeah, this is a better idea for nearly all parties involved. We're talking about a new framing technology applied to conventional construction of homes that helps speed up that construction. If you want to learn more, it's called Frame Tech. There's no H on the end, F-R-A-M-E-T-E-C dot com. But I want to talk more about this, including is there competition in the marketplace? You're listening to Get Rich Education. More when we come back. I'm your host, Keith Weinhold. If you're looking to grow your passive income from real estate, pay attention. My Property Stats is a deal analysis tool developed by an active investor to cut the time it takes to analyze any deal by over 90%. For any real estate class, you can calculate the exact price to pay to hit your cash flow and IRR goals. Build a world-class pro forma. 
calculate the most you should pay for a renovation, run multiple scenarios with a comparison tool, and more. My Property Stats is the all-in-one toolkit for real estate investors. That means more deals, more cash flow, and more returns. Go to mypropertystats.com slash GRE now and use the coupon code GRE to get 10% off your first year. That's just $90 a year for a tool that can save 10 hours per deal. No more spreadsheets, no more juggling multiple files. Use coupon code GRE to get 10% off at mypropertystats.com slash GRE. Knowing the difference between a turnkey provider and a vertically integrated rental property company can cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars over the life of your investment. Some companies sell you a property they don't own, renovate it with contractors they don't control, refer you to a property management company they don't manage, all in multiple markets because they can't source enough inventory. That's why truly passive investors work with our friends at JWB Real Estate Capital, perhaps the country's only vertically integrated rental property investment company. They operate in one market, Jacksonville, Florida, and their whole job is to make investing in rental properties easy for you. In fact, because of their vertically integrated approach, their clients have gained 79% more home price appreciation than the overall Jacksonville market since 2013. Find out more about why it pays to invest with JWB. Call them at 904-677-6777 or go to jwbrealestate.com slash GRE. GRE listeners can't stop talking about their service from Ridge Lending Group and MLS 42056. They've provided our tribe with more loans than anyone. They're truly a top lender for beginners and veterans. It's where I go to get my own loans for single-family rental property up to fourplexes. So start your pre-qualification and you can chat with President Chaley Ridge personally. They'll even deliver your custom plan for growing your real estate portfolio. Start at RidgeLendingGroup.com. This is Peak Prosperity's Chris Martinson. Listen to Get Rich Education with Keith Weinhold and Don't Quit Your Daydream. Welcome back to Get Rich Education. We're talking with Damian Lupo and David Morris about a new framing technology that substantially speeds up conventional construction of homes. And this obviously solves a huge problem with not just a chronic housing shortage in America, but a chronic labor shortage as well. And this helps reduce waste and really meet a lot of ESG concerns. So other communities outside of central Arizona, where they're currently building a plant for this, other communities outside of that state have wondered how they can get this in their state because it not only brings jobs to that area, but people can really see that it meets a need. But within this technology, do you have any competition out there across the landscape? Is anyone else doing anything like this? We really don't have anybody out there that's doing anything exactly the way that we're doing it. There are some really automated trust plants out there, et cetera. And there are other trust manufacturers in the area that this will serve. So it really only serve Arizona market, 200 miles from the location. But there are lots of other plants in that area. The evidence of the fact that the competition isn't getting us where we need to be is as we are going through the process of building this plant, our partners that are in the area are getting phone calls on a weekly basis from builders asking when we're going to be up and running because there's a desperate need for what we have. And so we're still a year and a half from actually producing homes. And we have people calling on a weekly basis trying to get access to what we're doing. That's a market indicator right there. Yep. It's wild too. When you look out, there's a company called Builders First. They just acquired a very automated robotic plant. And we were looking at that plant uh, with the operators. I was with them, in fact, yesterday. We were talking about it and looking at the technology. And what that automation has done is reduced a handful of humans, but you still need humans for all the other stuff. So this massive amount of capital that was required to build out the robotics it didn't actually save any of the material. So you still have the same amount of material. You're still having the same amount of waste. So we've got some different technology. And and so what's interesting is that these big institutions are looking, they want to buy this to vertically integrate their systems to be able to have the plant. So in terms of competition, we always kind of laugh about this. If there were a hundred of the plants that we're building in America right now, it still wouldn't satisfy all the demand for all the building that's required 
So bring it on is, I mean, our opinion is there's no oversupply. There's a massive undersupply. It takes years and years and years to build these. And most of this industry, they're not going to stop. They're not going to shut down and retool and rebuild their plant from the ground up. They're just going to keep going. And you know, one of the things that we all know in construction and building is that whenever you're doing building, you get two out of three, you get cost, speed, and quality, you get two. Right. So if it's really fast and it's really efficient, you're going to be paying for it. And David can speak to this, but it's really truly a unicorn because you get all three. And, and that's because of the technology and, and the IP that, that David can dig into because he's got some world-class expertise in that space. With okay. the finger joining machine and the automation that we have, What's different from the plant that Damien mentioned with all the robotics, robots all have to be programmed just like machines do. And so every movement that they do, it has to be programmed. And so it's still not as flexible because when you want that robot to do something different, you have to go back to the drawing board and program it. Whereas you could use a human to put the wood where it's supposed to go. You don't have to program that human. He just has to know what to do. And the other thing is with the finger joining piece of this process, it actually is stronger than the board itself. So when you combine glue and wood together, that joint is actually stronger than the wood. So the testing of these joints, when they test it, the wood breaks, the joint does not break. So we're talking about having some patents pending then with this technology? So we've got technology that was patented uh, over a 20 year period. And then we've, because patents last for 20 years, our partners, have, we've, we've re- resubmitted and we have patents pending on our technology. So it is unique. And to David's point, the patents protect this process that allows us to be 15 to 25% more efficient, which means that we're going to have less cost. So we're more competitive, we're faster, and we have a higher quality product. So truly, it's interesting when you compare this to literally anything else out there, we have all three, whereas you're you're going to get two out of three in every other environment. I think that's one of the reasons that we've got the support from everybody, the community, the politicians, the investors that are part of this deal. They, they realize this is not something we've ever seen before. In fact, David and I have looked at hundreds, if not thousands of deals and you know, opportunities. And we saw this and we went, well, first off, we ignored it for a while because we were too busy. It's always kind of funny when you realize how dumb you are. We were dumb. We didn't. And, and so after a while, we finally <laughs> looked and we went, there's something special here, but we must be missing something. And then we started digging into it and we realized after we really vetted everything and, and met with people who I've known some of them for 25 years, there was something special here because it was, there was a vision involved with the people that have been involved in this industry for a very long time. We're talking 50 years. And so when they brought this together and showed us what the vision was, we looked at each other and we were kind of just smiling, thinking, wow, this is a unicorn of the people, the process, the vision and the environment we couldn't be in a better position to bring all these things together and we've got the right team to do it. So it's been an incredible thing to be a part of. And it's not something that you see every day. In fact, we'd never seen it before in in 25 years of investing and in business. Yeah. One of the things that always gets me is when you're looking at a deal and everything looks as great as it is, the whole time you're going through the process, you're looking for, okay, what is that one thing that I missed that's going to kind of ruin this? Well, and every time we get to a a new point in this process, there's just continued validation, either from the partners, the city, other cities that would like us to bring the plant to them, to the construct, the contractors in the area needing our product now as versus when it's going to be ready. The every piece of the entire process has had favor behind it. You know, it's almost like there's this divine intervention with this project because it is everybody's heart is in the right place. We're all trying to make a better world. We're all trying to help solve the housing problem, the labor shortage problem, the supply chain problem in the the housing industry. And every single part of this is coming together in a way that I've never seen any project come together ever. Six weeks ahead of schedule, you know, things like that just don't happen. And more money, more profit than we thought we were going to have because the automation was refined there's just so many things, bills coming from the Congress to help in, increase the tax incentives for us and for our investors. So, I mean, it's just every time we turn around, there's something better about this. And it's just continued validation that we're going down the right path. Now, there's a lot of energy behind this. You two have been brought into this for certain reasons, just like others are. To get a better idea of that end product, when a resident is inside a completed frame tech home, would they be able to detect any difference between it and a home that was completely constructed conventionally? I mean, the finished product from the inside of the room, you're really yeah. not going to be able to tell a difference. Essentially, it's the same type of construction, just put together in a different way. 
Keith, one of the things that we noticed um, over the years being in construction, building things, a lot of builders end up with problems down the road and they get sued because you're building things on site. The quality control is a heck of a lot harder than if you're doing something inside of a contained environment. So one of the things that's more likely than not is that you'll have less problems down the road where people say there's a, a problem with the framing. It's not quite lined up. It's because we're in a controlled environment building all this stuff and then we bring it out. So you're not going to have walls that are slightly off or slightly different. I mean, it's very, very tight. The tolerances are far tighter inside of a controlled environment. And so would somebody see something? Not necessarily, but five years down the road, are they likely to have a problem with the framing? Almost a zero chance because you don't have people out there in the wind and the rain and doing dumb things or you know shooting themselves in the foot with a hammer gun or whatever. Like it's very different type of build process. So I think the quality control is one of the things that people will notice because they will actually will have less problems and they may not think about it, but that's one of the nice things knowing that you're, it's kind of like you buy a, a Toyota and it never breaks down over 400,000 miles. And then you go out and you get some other car that does break down after 80 or 100,000. This is more like the efficiency and the quality control is so much tighter. It's better for the end user because they don't have to think about the thing falling apart. Now, you two have been brought into this technology. Tell us about the depth of expertise on the team there. It runs very deep, actually. So the family who brought the opportunity with the plant design and all the knowledge behind it has been in the trust manufacturing business for 50 years. So we've got the patriarch of the, of the business has been in the business for 50 years. His son has been in for 30 years. And then um, the engineer that's on the team has been doing his thing in the real estate world for the last, uh, what, 25, 30 years? Damien, is that right? Yeah, I've known him for 25 years. And so mm -hmm. they, these guys have been involved in the real estate ground up. The engineer and our other partner, Dan, have been in this space for 35 years and have literally mm -hmm. done, built hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of houses, developed thousands of lots. These guys know what they're doing, not because they read about it in a book, but because they've been in the dirt. In fact, I was in the dirt, kicking rocks around, watching dirt being moved at our first site yesterday with the whole team. It's wild sitting there watching all the stuff come to fruition. Like we're building literally ground up from the weeds to a, this facility that's going to be 111,000, 111 square feet in the middle of a place that desperately needs jobs. And to see it coming to life, you can see the people that have had this vision and they had the expertise. What they needed is they needed the belief that we brought in. We believe in them and the investors believe in them. And that's why the project has happened where it's people hear about it and they say, I want to be a part of it. That sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. And then they hear about where it's going to go and, and the potential returns that are very likely. So it's all these things come together and it has everything to do with the people because you can have a great idea, right. but if you don't have somebody to execute it, it doesn't make any difference. We have what David and I would call the best operators that we've ever encountered in any industry. These guys are the real deal and we're watching it come to life faster, more efficiently than we expected. In most any real estate, indeed, the team is more important than the product, but yet they still matter. So as you're building this manufacturing plant in central Arizona, is there still room? If others are interested and they want to get involved, is there a way for them to do that? Absolutely. We do still have some room. We are, what, about 65% full now? Is that right, Damien, that, that guesstimate? I think, I think the latest numbers were getting closer to 80%. We're so oh, 80. The, okay. There's been a massive amount of enthusiasm. And what's happening is people are hearing about it from people that are already involved and they're saying, wait, I want to be a part of that too because they mm -hmm. see where this is going. And it's and that's one of the most valuable things in investing. If you can see the vision, it's because where returns come from is seeing something. It's like planting a seed. We have friends and clients that invest in, in some agriculture things. And, and you have to have a vision and you know that if you put a seed in the ground and you nurture it, you're going to have some beautiful fruit or some cacao or coffee or whatever it is. The truth is uh, that's the same thing with everything, whether it's an apartment or a manufacturing plant. That's why out of a $40 million project, we're past $32 million in funds. There is some room left. And David alluded this a little bit earlier. We've got three other locations that we're looking at as additional spots because they're, they need it. They're courting us. It was Great. two until yesterday. And now literally we're at a third additional spot, uh, which is funny because David doesn't even know this. This was just something that I learned yesterday. And it's that's because this is so desperately needed. And when you see it happening, it's like, oh, this is coming to life. So people are saying we want to be a part of this, which is why you have you know, out of a $40 million um, deal that we're putting together, 32 plus million has already come into it. There is room. It's not a lot. It's going to be done fairly soon. And it's being a part of something that matters. And the returns, the expected returns are funny enough, keep getting better and better. Normally things go wrong in deals. I mean, typically that just, you know, you have black swans or things in our case, because of what David talked about with 
Congress and because of engineering efficiencies, cost efficiencies, the returns that we started out thinking we're going to be in the mid 30s are more likely to be into the 40s. And that's just because the team wow. keeps executing better and better. And we have tailwinds because of pressures from politics. And so, I mean, this is one of those things where if I was going to bet the farm, I mean, we really have, it makes sense because you understand it. This isn't some weird technology thing. I think, Keith, you've probably seen enough things out there where there's these amazing returns. You're like, but I don't understand the technology. This is a house framed deal with a joiner. You could walk over and we could show you and anybody with a fifth grade education could say, I totally get how this is going to happen and how it's worth what you guys say it's going to be worth. It's not a mystery. We're literally building something and the world is begging for our output. Well, not only is it easy to understand, the gravity of the problems that it solves are pretty astounding. Tell us more about the investor. Does it take an accredited investor to come alongside you? It does. It's accredited investor only for this deal. We're looking for $100,000 minimum investments to be a part of it. And like Damien said, the returns are pushed to near 40% IRR. The expected time frame we're looking around a five-year exit on this, but there's also a you know a play where if we don't sell it, the cash flow is very hefty once we get out to the five-year and beyond time frame. I'm a big numbers guy. Like I like to get into the nitty-gritty with numbers and and there's so that whenever you have a deal, what's important is to always make sure that there's at least a plan A and B. And right. that way, if your plan A, something knocks you in the teeth, you go, okay, well, what's our plan B? And you execute that. We've had multiple multi-billion dollar organizations already voice interest in partnering slash acquiring with the idea. When the idea got out and people started hearing about it, it's kind of like you go and you're going to go build a building and you've already got all your leases signed before you build it. Very easy to have confidence in the thing. We've got multiple sources that are already interested. In fact, Builders First just acquired a plant that we would contend ours is a bit better than that. So we already know this is happening. So we've got that exit. And, and like David talked about with the cash flow, once we're up and running, we're able to produce the product. And the realistic outcome is between 40 and 50% cash on cash for the, the investors. And so the plan B is making 40 to 50% cash on cash, not just appreciation, but literally cash on cash in the fifth year. It wouldn't surprise any of us if we have a, some type of bidding war or we have people coming in. What, the building will be up. It'll be visible from the road in about three to four months. So you're going to start seeing more activity. You know, who knows? We could end up having a, a space or an environment where we have somebody wanting to buy it before we're even producing anything. Because this is so needed and people are wanting to capture that actual vertical piece of their supply chain, it, that wouldn't surprise us, which means if it's three or four years instead of five you can do the math. The numbers end up being really, really good. In fact, they're they're about as good as it gets for investing. And uh, we think there's going to be a positive surprise for everybody. Multiple exit strategies. Plan A is sell at a handsome profit. Plan B is hold longer term for cash flow. Well, if someone wants to learn more and go to your Frame Tech website, what will they find over there? On the website, they're going to find the latest webinar that we did that really goes into all the details of the deal, uh, the partners, et cetera. We also, on the website, we're going to have all the documentation that's necessary, the private placement memorandum, the business plan, the slide deck that we use in the presentations. And so everything that you you would need to evaluate the investment from a personal perspective would be available there. Also, our contact information is on the website as well. So you could reach out to me and or Damien directly on our cell phones. And What's unique about that is we actually will answer those and we want to talk to you. <laughs> well, thanks for sharing this with us. There certainly is a lot of momentum behind this because it's just astounding with the number of problems that it solves. Again, if you want to learn more, get started at frametech.com. That's F-R-A-M-E-T-E-C.com. Damien and David, thanks so much for coming onto the show. Thanks, Keith. Really appreciate you. Yeah, thank you, Keith. It was a great time. Hey, I felt like a Shark Tank shark with some of those questions. Hey, do you guys have any competition? <laughs> well, when you shorten the construction timeline like this, also you cut down on the carrying cost for a builder and the interest rate that they're paying on their construction loans. So just a lot of interest from so many parties involved in this. So shortening that timeline, that's key for more than just getting people housed that much sooner. And this is the only time that I expect there to be any investment opportunity within our two episode future of real estate series here. With FrameTech, this is supporting made in America technology and manufacturing jobs in America as well. 
all the problems that this solves, supply chain, labor shortage, housing shortage, manufacturing waste, and the ESG concerns with the solar power and all these companion tax benefits that Congress has granted for providing a product in this way. And if you're wondering where some of those potential returns could come from, it's a substantial amount of tax credits and deductions. And this can include a cost segregation on the plant and bonus depreciation on the equipment. But read and learn about all those return sources there on their website. And Congress has enabled solar credits and deductions. So if you're interested in investing in Frametech, learn more on their website. Over there, they also show exactly how they're using investor funds. So again, go to Frametech, that's F-R-A-M-E-T-E-C, no H on the end, to commit and see the supporting documents. So learn about the risks and the rewards. And yes, Damien and David really do have each of their cell numbers on the website so that if you still seek answers after visiting Frametech, you can ask them about those things directly. Next week in part two of two of the Future of Real Estate series, we go where we've never gone before with a deep dive into metaverse real estate. Until then, I'm your host, Keith Weinhold. Don't quit your daydream. Nothing on this show should be considered specific, personal, or professional advice. Please consult an appropriate tax, legal, real estate, financial, or business professional for individualized advice. Opinions of guests are their own. Information is not guaranteed. All investment strategies have the potential for profit or loss. The host is operating on behalf of Get Rich Education, LLC, exclusively. The preceding program was brought to you by your home for wealth building, GetRichEducation.com.